Good evening, everybody. It's October 1st after a very long, hard, confusing day. Um, the torturers had been shooting at me extremely heavily um, through most of the day with the electrochemical weapons. Um, and I, you know, I thought I was going to die at one point. It was so harsh. Um, and in the meantime, um, please read the Guardian Group email that I posted today regarding the events of today, because it seemed like there was some sort of negotiation going on between the deep state and the, and the torturers to, to get them out. And, um, you know, I thought everything was on the up and up, but reflecting on the events of the day, um, I, I fear that um, I might ha have been there was an attempt to frame me um, and connect me with them. <clears throat> so it's a little bit complicated to uh, unravel. Um, the, this solid foundation, solid ground foundation repair uh, trailer has been sitting here for the past couple days. And um, I think this might be part of the whole uh, weave of entrapment of me. And, uh, you know, at the beginning of the month, I, I've gotten in the routine of renting a, a small economy car. And I rent a small economy car because that's the only uh, uh, type of car that can fit in this tiny little garage here without its sides getting scraped when you, when you pull in. And um, however, last month I, I tried to rent a small car and the rental agency only had big trucks. And I said, no way. And I had to wait three hours before a small car um, Ha happened onto their lot that I could rent. And um, so this month I tried, or, you know, day before yesterday I tried again, and they said I could only rent a van. And so I tried calling the uh, National Rental Agency to see if there was any way that I could secure a small car um, to, to pick up, uh, which I was going to do today. Um, but I couldn't get them to commit to that, and I and I couldn't get a hold of the the rental agency, um, and so I eventually just decided to cancel. And and oddly, when I did, and I, I gave them the the code number to cancel, it said that um, the car would be rented out in some small town in Michigan. Um, <clears throat> so I, I canceled it, and then I just started putting two and two together. And, uh, you know, I almost wonder, you know, there's these kids down here below boards that um, have kind of become allied with, with me um, that are younger. They're not, they're either forced to be a part of this or they're, they're just sort of tangential and, and they, some of them can't get up to the surface. And I, I imagine a lot of them are homeless or in some sort of dire situation and that's why they're, they're down there. And then there's like the really evil, malevolent torturers. And then over the past week, there's been all these Skyped invoices of, that, that sound like mature men with the government and the military, and it sounds all very deep state. And, um, and it sounded like they were going to try to get them out today um, through some sort of trade negotiation um, that I wasn't privy to the specifics of, um, and uh, I wasn't at the negotiation table. And so... Uh, in the middle of this all, in the middle morning, I, I really started getting hit hard, and I said, they're trying to kill me. And, um, and then I he heard uh, Native American chanting, so beautiful, so powerful, coming from under the underground rooms as well, but more in the distance. And I thought they were chanting in solidarity with me. And then later in the day, I thought, well, maybe they were chanting to welcome out the innocent boys. Um, but in the midst of all this, I just started saying, um, brothers, time to disarm. You know, it's like s some sort of message came to me to say that. D disarm the, the older boys. And then it was all pandemonium. And then I heard um, Skype voice say, you've got 35 minutes to come out with your hands up. And then I heard um, one of the bosses say, what do you mean? I, I thought that um, we had an agreement on the table. And, and the Skype voice says, it's still on the table. And there's all this yelling back and forth, and, but the torture kept going, and so I don't know if anybody got out, but it seemed like all the tortures are still there. And, um, and in the midst of all this, um, I had overheard that they only have 42 canisters left of poison. And, you know, so I'm emailing all this, my findings to the Guardian group, 
and they're, seeing, they're re hacking and reading my emails, and then I hear a lot of anger that I, I have found that out and that I can now wait them out, which is the good news. Um, but the scary thing is, is I think um, there was an attempt by the deep state to manipulate uh, the uh, rental of, of my, you know, annual car to have that be the, the escape vehicle um, for, for the baddies. I had heard earlier this morning that, and I have that in the email, that there was a plan to, to pick them up and then it would be five nights on the road, which I only could surmise was a South American country. And I eventually put two and two together and I realized the reason the Native Americans were there is they were probably pro protesting the baddies, the torturers, sexual abusers getting transported to a South American country and just setting up their whole operation all over again, um, except uh, instead of assaulting me and torturing and raping and forcing, trying to force me into a prostitution ring that they would be doing it to the Native American peoples down there. Um, which be, would be a total compromise of my mission. You know, for the past two years, I've been enduring this horrific, horrific rape and torture um, right through the floorboards with their state-of-the-art military weaponry and, and wall-penetrating visual devices, and that would have all been in vain because, you know, the, not only do I wa not want to be a prostitute, but I, I want to shut this ring down, and it seems like I, I've been really close to doing it. And so what I'm surmising, and that's why I'm posting this video, is that I believe that maybe um, they were going to perhaps get that van in my name, maybe put some drugs in it, um, put a, a bunch of the innocents in that van, and, you know, lie to them that they were going to be safely transported down to, you know, another country, and then perhaps at the border, um, you know, the officers or immigration officials would search the car, find the drugs, find the van had been in my name. And so I would be busted with the innocents um, and incarcerated for um, drug smuggling. And so meanwhile, you know, what the heck is this huge van across the street? Um, I would surmise that maybe in another car, the actual evil torturers would be successfully transported down to that country and um, this van here would transport all, all the um, electromagnetic chemical weapons machinery um, and, and their whatever gear they need to just set up shop down there. So um, I feel like uh, even though um, I'm, I'm stuck here and I feel like my trust has been horribly violated by government and military and uh, local community officials once again, um, I feel very grateful to the higher powers that um, I shut this mission down, um, both for my own survival um, and remaining pristinely not connected to this evil torture group, um, but for all those innocents um, in whatever country that they were going to end up metastasizing in. All right, signing off for tonight. Be safe. <laughs>